to Alyssa Jones here. You can find me on Instagram at AJ Stitch. And welcome back if you are returning and if you're new, thanks for watching. Um, I'm pretty excited today because I've jumped into way too many things. And it's okay. Everything's okay. Um, life's been crazy, very stressful with school. It seems like as a teacher every two weeks right now, things change and you have to adjust and you never feel like you've quite got a handle on things. So that's been stressful and I wouldn't get through it without my work friends and the support that I have around me. But I have that support and I have this great hobby called cross stitch, which is what my video is mostly about. I don't have any knitting updates today, so this is truly cross stitch. But I've got some whips, which are work in progress. I have some plans and I've even like dug some things out of my box of shame so that maybe we can get those finished up this month. So let's get started. Uh, I worked on some of the same projects because they were part of my January WIPGO. If you're new to WIPGO, check it out. It's a um, stitch along kind of that is hosted by Jessie Marie Does Stuff. And there's a Facebook group for it, and she pulls two month, two numbers a month, and you stitch on those progress, those projects that month. And you can set your goal for whatever they are. And my goals, as everyone who's watched knows, are to stitch on those projects for five days that month. And then if I don't finish the project, I've kind of been keeping them in a rotation and stitching on them during coffee. This past week was so nuts, I didn't even coffee stitch. It just didn't happen. However, I did one time last week stitch on my Shores of Hawthorn Hollow, like at one morning. That's it. That's all I got was one morning. And so you're going to see what 30 minutes of stitching looks like. I'm currently working on block five. And let's see. I don't even know if you'll be able to tell the difference. I kind of like fold it so you don't just see cat hair. And I think I filled in more bricks is all I did. So the house is getting there slowly but surely. Must be, I must have just done those bricks for the day. But it's getting there. Tiny bit of progress. Every little stitch counts. And so that's all that got done. And the other Whip Go project that had been a, I think it was also a January <coughs> pull was Hedgerow Birds by Blackbird Designs. And the, the front was done. I'm currently working on the back part because you're supposed to make it into a bag. No idea what mine's gonna look like. And I, if I remember correctly, I just did some more flower. So there's the alphabet. And that's the flower I was working on. Just started the leaves. It's getting there. Once again, that only got one morning since my last floss suit. Because not only did I do that, but you guys know I started the Fruits of Plenty Stitch Along by Modern Folk Embroidery. And I had come into this game late, really late, because it was mid-February when I decided to start this. It looks like I actually started it, oh, February 12th. So really, that was almost middle of the month. And I felt very behind. I have since my last video gotten Pattern Keeper and it was a game changer. And everybody who talks about getting Pattern Keeper in an Android device, they're not lying. It is better. It's so much easier to see your progress, to find your mistakes and to track how much you have to do. So I finished the January portion and have started the February. And I'm just past, I think, 20% on February. And I'm trying to get that as much done as I can because I don't want to go into March feeling really behind. But there's 31 whole days, which when I think I only had 16 days to get January and February started, I think I did okay. Now I have 31 days to do all of March and February, which is the top row of this sample. And this is a big one. This was a big undertaking. I I love it though. I'm very happy with the colors that I chose. I think it's fun to work on. It is beautiful. So getting there. I also, as you know, started the Magic Kingdom stitch along. 
and I buckled down this morning and I was like, you need to get that done because we only have two days of February left and you want that done. You don't want to feel behind on both of your stitch alongs. You're going to feel bad. So I managed to get Alice's tea party all stitched this morning. And that includes all the little back stitching and the little French knots. And the Alice. And there were a lot of color changes in this section. So that definitely slowed me down. But I uploaded it into Pattern Keeper. And I was able to zoom right in. And I could see the little half stitches or three quarter stitches that you had to do. And I was super happy with how that's coming out. And from what I've seen of sneak peeks and people getting floss ready for March, it looks like the next section is going to be Beauty and the Beast. But these really don't take me as long to stitch up as the modern folk embroidery. So it's not as big of a time commitment and I'm happy with the, the progress I'm able to make. And my only other whip that I touched, and this is sad progress too, I feel like I've just been holding up the same project, is my chalk full jar by Hands On Design in collaboration with Priscilla Blaine of the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I seriously, every time I hold it up, I just have like a couple more rows of blue jar done. But I'm not getting that time to work on it. It's just not happening. And I really want to start the next jar because I'm begging for spring. But I've got to get this one done. So we're getting there. And I think the very bottom of it is right here. So it's closer. It's not much closer. So I'll keep working on it. And so I am begging for springtime to come. It was at least mid 40s today here in upstate New York. There's, we had woke up to an, about an inch of snow. They're calling for another inch of snow, maybe Sunday night. And it's just, it's still winter, but there's those glimpses of better weather coming. And so when I was listening to the Steel City Stitchers talk about their March Stitchy Madness that they're doing, I thought, ooh, I've got some spring projects started that would be really happy to work on. And so just today, I also pulled together a bracket and I'm gonna do it the way that they describe in their video. It's like two videos ago, they go through this in really great detail. So I just put in my bullet journal, I made a quick little bracket and I have the pink ones are my new starts and the green ones are whips that I already have. And the goal is you stitch on that project on that date and the next one on the next date and you put up an Instagram vote in your story and whichever one wins moves on to the next round and you finalize it until you get to your last whip which would be March 15th and you try to finish that one by the end of March. I've, I've got some projects here that makes that might like end up both getting finished because they're close. So let's let me get myself in order here. My first new start is going to be Spring Hair by La Di Da. And this was kind of stitched in a black and like a brown. And I wanted it to be a little bit perkier than that. So I have a piece of 40 count Newcastle linen, which is very, very natural. And I've chosen for colors something. No, they're not folded up in there. They must be here somewhere. Oh, they're there. They had fallen out. I actually just chose 310, a little DMC, and then this really fun meadow green classic color works. So those two on the natural linen with that primitive design. You can see it all coming together and looking good up on my sampler wall too that I was talking about last time. So that's my first new start and it might be the deceiving but that doesn't look like a ton of stitches does it maybe i'm getting tricked i don't know but i think it'll be a happy one to work on so that's my first day and that is going up against one that i started last year and that is i probably could have put these in order spring is spring has sprung by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I'm almost to the halfway point, maybe a tiny little bit short. So I had just pulled colors from my stash when I did this one. And that's how far I am. So halfway would be right about here. 
a little whole lot more. I know that bottom part's a little more dense, but still. So we'll see which one of those projects makes it through. And here's my color palette for that. I've got chives and bamboo and old marigold, which is like an orange and a pink put together. And shutter green and tropical ocean, this is the blue I chose, and Ohio lemon pie and clay pot. So this is my little rainbow that I'm stitching that one with. I think I started that on a whim one day too, last spring. All right, so then the next section of bracket is going to be for a new start. The next one in one of the giant seasonal series that I love to start, and that is Hello Spring by Plum Street Samplers. Now I know this is more stitching than it looks like. I don't even have all of the colors, but I thought I could start it, and if it wins, I can either pull colors from my stash or pull or order them. I have time because it's early in the month. And so that's what I have ready. Of course, I need more, but to start. That new start is going up against my Spring Bird by, I think it's um, Heart and Hand. So Spring Bird, and he's actually pretty far. So I think I could finish this in a day if I actually worked at it, and depending how tired I am that day. But all that's left is egg, nest, and the word spring. That's not a lot. So he could be a finish, and then he wouldn't move on. Then when he, um, the Hello Spring would move on. So we'll see. And then next on my bracket, I have the Spring String by Lizzie Kate as a new start. And I've done three other strings and I put them over in my hutch and they make me really happy. And Lizzie Kate's, you know, they tend to call for a lot of colors and I didn't even check to see if I had the colors because I just grabbed colors that I liked that I had. So I have um, embers, which is a bright orange for those carrots, some crushed pineapple, mossy, Caribbean water, little pink peony, cappuccino, khaki mocha, and cherry berry. So I have all of those, and I think my blue is dark enough to show up because I've chosen this Crystal Coastal Belfast 32 count linen to stitch it on, and it's so sparkly and fun. So I have that. I think I have to check it against my other strings, but I think it'll fit just across the width. They're not very big. They're only an inch tall, and so that would be a great piece to have done, and that one is going up against... Wild Berries by Blackbird Designs. And this is when I started also a year or two ago for Stitch Mania. And it's pretty far. I mean, there's still a lot, but it would be doable. You can see all my carried threads on my border. So we'll see who wins. And for my last two days of the starting brackets, I I'm gonna use the same blue and the same colors I pulled because it's another Lizzie Kate Spring one. And all I added was a little bit of black coffee because there's a ladybug face to a stitch. And this would be the Spring Smalls by Lizzie Kate. And I would be doing this little pillow that says spring, but I don't make it a pillow. I have an easel that I have autumn and winter already done for. So if I got spring done, that would be all set and ready to decorate with. So I have this whole spring theme. Spring Smalls is going up against, for my last one, kind of a big one. This, I hesitated, because, but I ran out of spring whips. I really wanted to stick with my theme. So this is Spring by the Cricut Collection. And this one I started two years ago, I think. And I have almost to the halfway point there. The S, P, and the R are done, and I was starting that section by the I. But really, those are more stitching than they look like. I don't know if you can see like the birdhouse, and then there's all that on the N. The G is pretty intense. 
but I would love to have it done. So that's what's going to happen. And that's my bracket. Each day I'll start a new one or work on that whip and we'll battle it out and see who makes it to the end. The only, oh, I do have other plans because the March whip go numbers were called. And so for March whip go, I have to spend five days working on a year celebrations by hands on design. And I have stitched January, February, March, April, May, June. Do I have those right? Yeah. And I finished July most recently. And so I would be starting August and I didn't have the call for colors. So I just once again, grabbed colors that I had and you can see here's my July. And they're not very big. They do stitch up quick. Actually, you can see my May, June and July. So I'm ready to start August right there. And that would be great to have done this month. And if I finish August, I would continue on and go on to September if I was able to get it done. But with the March Madness and the Fruits of Plenty Sal and the Magic Kingdom Sal, you know that there's just not enough hours in the day. And the other project I have to spend five days on is Kringles, which you have seen before and I haven't stitched since. So I'll get that out next time because it's in that pile somewhere. And amidst all of this, I actually didn't think I was going to have enough content. I don't know why I thought that way. I think it's because I felt like I hadn't stitched, but I've obviously stitched a lot. Um, I was watching Darcy Cameron's latest floss tube, and he is starting a stitch along. And he's in partnership with someone else, and they've got all these people already joining it into it. And I don't know, it looks really fun and springy. And I feel like if you know I've been living in upstate New York, you're going to understand why I think I need all of this color in my life. But it's the mini sunflower house. And it's a hade. And I mean, it's a mini, but it's still 195 by 289. It's massive. This is not something I would be starting and thinking I was going to get very far with anytime soon. But I really want to start it because I don't know when you do a sal like any of the other sals. It's like you're part of this great community and our stitching community is wonderful. So I think I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna kit it up and get it ready to start it. I think I already have a piece of Easy Count ready to go. It's just so happy, right? Don't you think you need to stitch that, right? Yeah, all those colors. This could be another mistake, but we'll see. So I also went into the box of shame because I was like, I do need to get all of my winter stitching down and see what I had that was spring ready. And I have the March year in chalk to get done. And then I might as well do the April one too because they're easier to do more than one at a time. So I have Hello Spring there. And then I also stitched this Hello Spring, which is one of the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch patterns. You can get it in their Etsy shop. It's one of their mugs and it says Hello Spring. And I stitched that last year and it's just been waiting. It's so cute. And I actually have like the Ray Dunn mug that looks like that now. Mine's green inside. I was really happy. And then I have um, Life Needs More Chocolate Bunnies. I think it's just called Chocolate Bunnies by Hands On Design. And I have the perfect spot for this one. I just have to put it on some sticky board. And I feel bad. I know I should know the designer of this and I don't remember. And I could probably, I'll look it up and I will link it below because it is beautiful. I know that I've seen um, Shiloh of X Stitch MD put this on her want to do list. And it's in the Sampler and Antique Needlework Quarterly magazine. I think that's the name of it. If you get their CD, it's on there. But I stitched this, this is so sad, 2011. She's 10 years old, just sitting in a box. Look at that wrinkle. That wrinkle is 10 years old. It's so sad, it's so beautiful. And I thought you should get that done and you can start your sampler wall with this. So I just need to get it ready. And this is a big one. So I'm gonna, I think I'm just planning on doing a sticky board back for this too. 
notes and putting it in a frame. I probably won't notice it. They don't seem to stay as tight for me as they do for other people. So I'll find a good frame and get it out of my wall. Out of the box of shame. Rescue time. So I think that's all I've got. I have to say thanks to Stitchy Shannon. She shouted me out in her last video, made me smile. I was so excited. And all the other floss tubers, thanks for making great videos. Thanks for all the wonderful projects you put together and the stitch alongs you inspire me to do. I just, I think that floss tube is a wonderful, wonderful community. And I'm so glad you're all here. So please like and follow, subscribe. Um, I hope to see everybody else's project for March Madness. And if I've inspired you to start it, please like tag me because I'll definitely vote on your projects too. And you can do it any way you want. You don't have to do new starts. You can do all whips. You can do the same two whips to see if you can get through the whole month, get one of them done. I just, I think that we've got some great stuff to stitch and there's just never enough time. So anything that inspires us to get more done is better. Well, I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend and a great upcoming week. I'll see you in probably about two weeks. In the meantime, enjoy the end of winter if you happen to be in the Northern Hemisphere. And please know that if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I really miss having summer here. Take care. Bye.